Hello everybody and today's treat for you is a trip around this lovely She33 in glorious virtual reality with me. So what does that mean to you? Well that means you can look around or uh, swipe your screen and drag your screen up, down, left or right and look where you like, when you like and we hope that this really great idea will give you a feeling as to what it's like to be on this boat without actually being here. How cool is that? Some people are a little bit sensitive to the movement of the camera, so if that may be you, then I'll let you know when the camera's going to be moved, and once the uh, camera's moved and set down again, I'll let you know when it's safe and you can return to the tour with me. But let's hope that doesn't happen. So let's have a look around the interior of this lovely she. So uh, she's a vintage boat, and we'll see uh, all sorts of little vintage touches around, but she is a really lovely, nice and clean and uh, great place to be, I think. But let's do the all-important head height test first. So I'm five foot nine, so we've probably got Got five foot ten, five foot eleven there. So for the really, really tall people, you'll be crouching a little bit. But um, the normal people like me, we're absolutely fine. A nice headlining here, battened in place. A tiny bit of droop here, but that's never. I don't think that would ever get any worse because um, because of the way it's battened in. So no worries at all. We've got four windows, two each side. Lots of light coming in. Lots of light and air coming in through the hatch if it's open. Lots of light and air coming in through the companion way too. So let's talk about the companion way first. Well, as you can see, we've got a, a, a nice deep companion way here. Quite shallow in this area because there's a big step to get up and over. That's quite a, a vintage kind of feel that we don't go for these days so, so much. Uh, once we're in, we've got a nice wooden ladder down onto the top of the engine box here where you're sitting. And it all feels like really nice, good, solid wood, as does the whole boat. There's lots of nice thick wood here. No nasty veneers, etc., etc. So really nice indeed. And uh, in fact, in the uh, set into the nasty, the lovely wood here, sorry, nearly said nasty, is set into the lovely wood here. We've got a nice little fridge, which is brilliant news. I think that's a fantastic idea. So the ladder's just been slightly offset to, to the starboard side to cater for that. Really, really nice. So as we're coming down, what have we got to hold on to? Well, we've got uh, handholds in the ladder, we've got uh, two posts here to hold on to, and uh, as we've got uh, handholds over the galley here, and as we're making our way forward in a really big blow, this is the kind of thing we're going to do until we reach the handle here and the base of the mast, and then we're through there. So we're uh, nice and easy to get around. Loads of room here because the, the saloon table is quite short that way, but that's okay because we can still sit four to six people around it, I think. And uh, once the, the, uh, the flap's up like that, you can see we've got a good sized table. It's offset to the side, so it's always out of the way rather than being in the middle and being a little bit in the way both sides. It's just a lot in the way on the port side, but here we've got good clearance. The floor, as you can see, quite worn, although got some nice bits of carpet in the corners, but this kind of fits with the age and the type of the boat I would say. I'd probably stick a rug over it and it would be absolutely fine but as it is at the moment not bad at all. Bilge access, keel bolt access etc underneath there and a grid there which will let all your all your uh, rain soaking off your oilies drain away to bilge etc. Really really nice. Uh, so yeah great to get about this boat. Um, I'm going to pick you up again uh, for the first time actually and I'll take you over to the galley so I'll place you down there so the camera's safe again. Now, the, this is the first thing you come to on the right hand side or the starboard side as you come down here. We've got a nice L shaped galley. The, uh, we have two sinks uh, under here, nice and out of the way, which is great. Brilliant for passing cups of tea up and receiving them back down. Absolutely love it. Really handy as well for passing things backwards and forwards. We have cupboards and, and a drawer underneath as well. Good work surface here. I mean, I'm loving this, this uh, vintage work surface. It's brilliant. Uh, big cupboards behind for plates and cups, etc. And uh, what is probably the original cooker here, all gimbaled for life at sea with twin burner grill and cooker i have one the same on moody blue works just fine and uh, generally speaking a good a good area to cook in um, and uh, when, once you're in here you can really sort of brace yourself against everything you, that you've got there no window above so uh, any any galley fumes will be going out of the uh, via the uh, the companion way there but uh, all in all quite like it right then so uh, let's pick you up and I'll take you over to the navigation station first. Let's put you there. There we go. So you're the navigator and you can easily talk to the skipper or the helm up there. You can easily talk to the people in the saloon there. Nice big saloon table. Uh, the, the, hin the, lift, the lid hinges up so we've got storage uh, beneath. Fiddle shelf outboards with three drawers underneath. If you're going to be navigating you could be sitting here facing forward which is most people's preference let's be honest. Underneath is here we've got the batteries and uh, through there we've got the pilot berth to port so you can see lovely and long and I think I'd, I'd be spending my time there on board um, if I was uh, skippering, if I was alone or, or uh, short 
short crude etc and above that rather than giving you more head height or sitting height here they've uh, enclosed it in a little bit and given us a lovely big stowage there you can see all safety equipment in there at the moment that's really really handy and uh, really really like it and then finished off on the outboard side we've got the uh, the electrics panel there too so all really rather good functional like this boat is okay let's pick you up again and I'll place you on the uh, saloon table that I spoke about before. Again, head height, here we go, just to give you another idea. Plenty of room for a five foot niner like me. And uh, we've got, uh, let's put my foot somewhere, we've got uh, uh, outboard cot berths here, which uh, many boats these days would have a bookshelf, etc. there. Could be, I've seen these converted into something else, but these are have been left for their original purpose. We've got nice uh, wooden lined uh, uh, outboard a bulkhead there which is which contributes to um, insulation not feeling like you've got a cold bum when you're lying on it when you're uh, starboard side down on this side uh, but also looks really nice as well uh, behind each of these cushions here we've got a nice deep locker with lots of stowage in there lots of stowage in there etc etc which is great and underneath here we've got uh, storage as well along with a, a, a flexible fresh water tank one under here and one under this side too and if I can manage it we can pull out this uh, section here um, basically this this bottom here just pulls pulls out about three inches and along with it comes the comes a cushion and as you can see it just makes the berth that bit wider so nice and comfortable somebody who's sleeping on that after a long day at sea let's just put it back properly there we go so uh, that's the main saloon we've got we've got the table we've already spoken about we've got nice berths nice sofas outboard berths as well and actually these outboard berths uh, i've so often seen them really really shallow like that really short they're not a bad size at all so you should be able to squeeze the smaller people or the children in there no worries at all okay let's pick you up again and uh, move you forwards i'm just going to bypass this uh, lobby and put you straight into the forward cabin otherwise you could get a bit complicated but uh, as you can see as i reverse out and come back again a bit of a duck under this uh, bulkhead here and it brings you level with this uh, uh, locker here nice big uh, 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 wardrobe stroke drawers in uh, or shelves in here on the starboard side and the heads to the port side where I'll take you very shortly but once we're through we're into the forward cabin and I'll join you here we go so I'm sitting down quite comfortably we have a hatch here for light and uh, air we've got uh, quite shortish berths I'd be okay in here if you're heading for six feet you might be in trouble I don't know but they're narrowed down to a point but we've got uh, somewhere decent to sleep somewhere to change somewhere to change we've got uh, cupboards underneath as well and uh, as in the saloon we've got the outboard side is nicely lined with wood two big fiddle shelves here some nice wood at fours there is a lot of nice wood on this boat I have to say and the headlining looks good too bit of droop here and there but uh, who's who really uh, worries about that i'm not sure i do so uh, yeah not too bad at all very good right then let's pick you up and we'll take you on a journey to the ultimate compartment on the boat which is the heads there we go i'll place you on the edge there hopefully you're not going to fall over if i'm really really careful there we go apologies if you do so you're in the heads compartment so when we're in here if you want the privacy the door clicks back into position there there we go, and we've now got privacy, but not from the forward cabin, something to bear in mind. Uh, we're, if we're sitting on the toilet, then we're facing to starboard. If we're standing in front of the toilet, if, if you want to, we can do, because there's reasonable head height in here. comes down a little bit, um, then we'd be standing and facing to, to port. Uh, we, have, we have a manual head, we have a good sink in the corner with uh, hand-pumped water and uh, storage underneath. So, uh, nice little compartment, I have to say. We've got wood all around us. Uh, we're, we have a light here, which isn't on, obviously although there's a bit of light here coming through the vent but uh, all in all nice little compartment does what it needs to at sea and alongside lovely okay then let's pick you up for the final time and i'll just swap hands and close the door so we can get out there we go and uh, i'll take you forwards and place you where somewhere near where we started you can sit on that first step there so this has been tim from boats your drop brokers you're taking you for a quick tour in virtual reality around the she 33 hope you've enjoyed the tour really beautiful looking boat from the outside one of the best i've seen and down here feels nice solid vintage yet you know we could really trick her up with some bits and pieces don't forget to check out our youtube channel there are dozens of videos on there reviews like this of, for all sorts of boats from the smallest uh, uh, two-man fishing boat up to the biggest most luxurious yachts and motorboats and sports cruisers in brighton marina thanks for watching and uh, hopefully we'll see you again soon take care